Elias Pedersen. Drafted fifth overall to the Vancouver Canucks in 2017. He's put a back-to-back 66-point seasons in his first two seasons in the NHL. Where will his career take him? We will find out now in year number one of his career simulation. Alright, pre-year one, this is before year one even starts. Elias Patterson, 66 points in 68 games. He's 21 years old, 6'2", 89 overall. High elite. He has two years left on his entry level deal. We will get this underway. Year number one of Elias Patterson's career simulation. 32 years old now. Only 68 points, 82 games. He dropped to an 89 overall. Wait, was he an 89? I thought he was 90. I don't know. Year number one, Elias Pedersen, only 68 points in 82 games. He played a full season. The Vancouver Canucks did not make the playoffs, unfortunately. They went 36, 37, and 9 of 81 points. Uh, I was actually kind of surprised about that. I'm using the Golden Knights for this simulation just so I don't have to go all the way around the entire NHL just to get it. Edmonton Oilers are your standing come champions over the Boston Bruins. <laughs> Ravens is going to love this matchup too. But Edmonton wins the Stanley Cup. As he uh, was in Seattle. And ba Boston was. Buffalo Sabres take home the President's Trophy. And I don't think anything goes home for Mr. Elias Patterson. Nathan Mack takes home a couple of things, though. But that's it. We will see you in year number two. Well, even though Elias Patterson did not do good in his first year. The Vancouver Canucks did take the first overall pick and they draft whoever this is. I'm not sure who this is. Atu Rati, first overall, 70 overall, first overall to the Vancouver Canucks. Future Elias Patterson's line mate. Hope we will see you in year two. Year number two, Elias Patterson, 72 points in 82 games. He's still an 89 overall. Did sign a beautiful $8.6 million deal for eight years until he turns 31 years old. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Entire league, Leon Dreisaitl takes home the Outrash Trophy right behind, right in front of Nathan Mack and Sidney Crosby. Head over to the playoffs. The Canucks did not make the playoffs, but the, the Golden Knights did, even though I'm the Golden Knights, doesn't matter. Maple Leafs win the cup over the Minnesota Wild, 4-1. And, yep, Maple Leafs win the cup. Pres President Trophy goes to Nashville. And I don't think anything is going once again, no sir, to your boy, Elias Pedersen. Hopefully year three is better for Pedersen. I have really high hopes for him. Hopefully he can win a cup because we have not had a cup winner since we started doing this. So see you in year number three. Year. Number three, Elias Pedersen, injury riddled season, only 66 games played, put up only 47 points, 24 years old, still an 89 overall. I should have looked at the entire league, and I don't think it's worth it, but let's do it, let's do it anyway. The entire league taking home is Jack Eichel. Why, why, why is everybody good? Uh, hold on, we're going to do this again. Year number three, Elias Patterson injured for the sum of the season, only 66 games, played 47 points, and taking home the Outrush Trophy is Jack Eichel. Why do we always get every time I simulate, we get really bad players, and then the players that we usually do do really good, like Nathan McKinnon with 95 points, and Jack Eichel coming with a 119 point season. The National Predators are your Stanley Cup champions over the Philadelphia Flyers. Avalanche, I mean, not the Avalanche, Avalanche did make the playoffs, that wasn't what I was going to say. The Canucks did not make the playoffs, though. They really didn't do that good. I don't even have to go to a different division. The Canucks go 31, 42, and 9 with only 71 points. And the awards, obviously, National wins the Cup. Avalanche get the President's Trophy. And nothing is going once again to Elias Patterson. Echo takes home a lot of hardware, though. But we will see you in year four. Hopefully, he plays another good. Hopefully, he, get, he starts getting into his prime. Year number four. 
Elias Patterson was still another injury riddled season. 68 games played, 60 points, not even a point per game, still at 89 overall. The Vancouver Canucks did make the playoffs, though. I think they finished, already finished second. They really turned their season around. They were not really that good in the first half of the season. Went 46, 28, and 8, but they unfortunately did not win the cup. The Calgary Flames did win the cup. The Canucks were eliminated in the first round by the eventual Stanley Cup champions, Calgary Flames, over the Columbus Blue Jackets. Awards, Flames get the cup, Stars get the President's Trophy, and I don't... McKinnon signs with the flip... Wow. I mean, I didn't even know that. Nothing going to Elias Pedersen. Year number five. Elias Patterson now 26 years old. This time he actually played the entire 82 game season. Only 74 points. This year still an 89 overall and has five years left on that $8.6 million deal. Uh, I keep forgetting to do this. But we're going to do it now anyway. I keep... Last season I forgot to do it. The entire league taking home everything is Miko Rantanen. 99 points in 81 games. Kind of a low... A lower um, point scoring year but the Vancouver Canucks did take home the division 46 31 and 5 Kraken took the second the Carolina Hurricanes are your Stanley Cup champions unfortunately they beat the Vancouver Canucks in six in the Stanley Cup final I was it, something popped up and it was the Western and the Eastern finals I saw the Canucks and they go please go all the way and they were just so close and so yet so far they went, to, they got, they lost in six. And I'm not sure if anything's going home, and it does not look like it. So, year number six is coming up. Pedersen just still has not point up, put up a point per game. I mean, never know. The Canucks did make the playoffs and did go all the way to the finals. Maybe they'll go all the way next year. See you in year number six. Year number six. Elias Pedersen. A couple games he has injured, I guess. Not 82 games, only 79 games, but he did put up a point per game. He put 82 points up in 79 games. Taking on the Art Ross Trophy this year is Leon Dreisauer, the Oilers. Oiler top duo is the top two. Um, Patrick Lightning, oh my god, I just noticed 59 goals. I think he took home the heart, I think it is. The Nashville Predators are your Stanley Cup champions. The Vancouver Canucks did not make the playoffs. I will show that in a second. But Nashville over Montreal. We go over the team stats. My Golden Knights did make the playoffs, but the Canucks finished um, sixth in the uh, sixth in the division, 40, 36, and six. It's not a bad season, but it it, it was just a really stacked Pacific division this year. And once again, nothing going to Elias Patterson. Hopefully, it's not one of those Jack Eichel years when we get nothing except for one tro the Lady Bing. I'm going to hope that Patterson just explodes in the next five years or it's just going to be another. <laughs> but I really hope it doesn't. See you in year number seven. Year number seven. Elias Patterson. Here we go. It might be the start of something really good. 87 points in 82 games. He is now 28 years old. He goes up to 91 overall. Three more years on the $8.6 million deal with the Vancouver Canucks. Jonathan Huber, though, takes home the out rush. He'll be 34 years old with 116 points, 85 assists. For Jonathan Uber, though, does not matter. The Vancouver Canucks, unfortunately, did not make the playoffs this year. 39, 35, and 8 in 82 games, 86 points. And the Stanley Cup champions are the Tampa Bay Lightning over the Colorado Avalanche. What I'm feeling that it's going to happen sooner or later. Yeah, Vancouver didn't make the playoffs, neither did my Golden Knights, so it doesn't matter. The awards, I'm not, I don't think he got anything, but we'll check anyway. And Elias Patterson once again does not go home with absolutely anything. And there is the President Trophy goes to the Panthers, Avalanche, Lightning, and Lightning win it all. So at least we have a little bit of a, in the next seven years, a little bit of difference. Predators, Flames, Hurricanes, Predators, Lightning. But we will see you in year number eight. Year number eight. 
Elias Patterson, only 61 points in only 78 games. She's 29 years old. Now he drops to a 90 overall. Still two years left on an $8.6 million deal. Just He just can't put up good numbers. Eli Tovenin takes home the Art Ross Trophy. A couple of weird names to see up here. Eli Tovenin and then Josh Hosang and then Sebastian Ajo. That's, I, I, I'm actually kind of surprised to see those three up there. But you head over to the playoff tree to Tampa Bay Lightning. Go back to back over to Edmonton Oilers in seven games. And the Canucks, once again, did not make the playoffs. I thought I, I thought my Golden Knights made the playoffs, but let me look how close it was. It was by a point. The Canucks finished last in the Pacific Division, 34, 41, and 7 for 75 points. Not really that good. Lightning win the cup. Person Trophy goes to Florida. A lot of stuff is going to Florida. Tovin takes everything home. And once again, nothing coming to Elias Patterson. Year number nine. I just wanted to say something really quickly. I noticed every time the NHL draft comes along, I always look and just use the first of all pick because it's the Canucks I'm going to choose. I think the NHL is in love with the Seattle Kraken because if you look at the top four, not counting Eugene Hopkins, but they got the pick first of all in 2022, first of all in 2023, and first of all in 2027. What the hell? Why, why do they love him? Year number nine. Elias Patterson, 76 points in two games. He is now 30 years old. He does drop to a 90 overall. And he has one year left on his $8.6 million deal. Is he going to sign somewhere else? We'll find out after the season. My Golden Knights made the playoffs. The Canucks did not. They finished were kind of horrible this year. 31, 42, and 9 for last in the Pacific Division. I'm not sure how good they did. Or they finished third last in the NHL behind ahead of the Capitals and the Chicago Blackhawks. Montreal Canadiens are your Stanley Cup champions over the LA Kings in five games. Back to the 1993 Stanley Cup final. Lightning take home the President's Trophy. Kings Canadiens, and once again, nothing going to Elias Pettersson. See you in year number 10. Well, since year number 9 was pretty bad for the Vancouver Canucks finishing third last in the NHL, they did get the first overall pick, and with that pick, they select so uh, Landon Sawchuck. He's already an 84 overall elite. He's a medium elite, and that's all we know. He's Oh my god, 68 games played, he put up 122 points. He might he might be one of Elias Patterson's new line mates. That's if Patterson re-signs with the Can Canucks. See you in year 10. We are 10 years into this. Year number 10. Elias Patterson, 31 years old now, still not putting up really good points. 78 points in 82 games against still 90 overall. He does sign a six-year, $10.2 million deal with the Vancouver Canucks. Staying home to Art Ross Trophy this year is Sebastian Ajo. 103 points in 82 games. Pretty, really low if you think about it. It is really low. Vancouver Canucks, once again, did not make the playoffs. 32, 45, and 5. If you saw in the last clip, they did take home the first overall pick in the NHL draft. Maybe they'll do it again. No, no. Stanley Cup champions are the National Predators over the Pittsburgh Penguins. We head over to awards. Once again, I doubt that Elias Pedersen had anything. Bruins take home the President's Trophy. And looks like, once again, nothing going to Elias Pedersen. All right. Well, 10 years into this, nothing going for Elias Pedersen yet. We will see you in year number 11. Well, guess what? Back-to-back -back first overall picks for the Vancouver Canucks. This year, they select first overall Mikhail Popov. Popov? Pop Popov. Six goals, eight assists for in 53 games? That was the first overall pick? Hold on. Before we keep going, who did the Hawks select? He put up twice as many points. Are you serious? <laughs> Six goals and eight points in 53 games. But... Canucks get back-to-back -back first overall picks. Maybe, you never know, maybe this year Elias Pedersen and the Canucks will pop off and win our first ever Stanley Cup. See you in year number 11. Year number 11. 
And Patterson has not changed. 77 points in 82 games. Goes up to a 91 overall for some reason. And so it's five years left on a $10.2 million deal. If he keeps putting up like this, I might not even I might not even post this career simulation. Because this is horrible. Canucks, again, don't make the playoffs. 32, 45, and 5. Now, the big question is, can they go three, president, three first overall picks in a row? Because they have two back-to-back -back first overall picks. And... They did not do good. But are your you Stanley Cup champions over the Carolina Hurricanes in five games? And once again, nothing is heading to Elias Patterson. Next clip is either going to be year 12 or it's going to be the NHL draft. See you in a minute. Year number 12. Elias Patterson, 67 points in 78 games, 91 overall still, four years left and $10.2 million deal. Look how close this was. The Vancouver Canucks did make the playoffs by one point. The Kings had more wins than them, but the Canucks made the playoffs because of their road, what is this, regulation bus overtime wins. They had three more than them. What I'm more pissed off about is this. The Vancouver Canucks lose in Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Final to the Carolina Hurricanes. They had a 3-2 series lead and then lost in 7. Hurricanes win the Stanley Cup. Jets get the President's Trophy. But at least they made the playoffs, so, so I guess that's something. Nothing going to Elias Pettersson. So close yet so far. But since they did bounce back, they were actually pretty not yet good in the first half of the season. They came back and made the playoffs, so you never know. This might be good. Might be uh, next year could be a really great year. But I, when I saw it, it was one nothing series of the Canucks in the Western Final, and I was just thinking, go all the way, just please for once, just go all the way. This is the second time that my team has got all the way to the Stanley Cup Final and lost in seven games. I will see you in year number 13 as the Flames get the first overall pick. Year number 13. Finally, Elias Pedersen putting up a decent year. 104 points in 82 games. Is that enough for the Art Ross? It is not. Whoa, Sebastian Ajo coming in with 118 points. And then Jack Eichel. Then Elias Pedersen drops an 88 overall, but he is 34 years old. And we head over to the team stats. The Vancouver Canucks did barely make the playoffs once again. 82 games, 94 points, 42, 30, and 10. It looks like the Edmonton Oilers took home the President's Trophy. Yes, sir. And the Jets actually were pretty close behind. I did not mean to press that. The LA Kings are your Stanley Cup champions. If I could go back to it, that'd be nice. Are your Stanley Cup champions? Canucks eliminated in the second round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. 4 to 2 over the what would be Stanley Cup champions. Edmonton Oilers take home the President's Trophy. And nothing going home to Elias Patterson. Next year, he's going to be 34, 35 years old. Hopefully, he has a couple more years left. Hopefully, we can squeeze in the cup. Or I might not even upload this video. Year number 14. Elias Patterson, 82 points in 77 games. It's still uh, not bad. Not extremely good, but not bad. 35 years old. He is at 90 overall. I think it was at 89 last time we checked. I don't remember. And I'm getting really sick of this. Canucks, once again, did not make the playoffs. 37, 39, and 6. Your Stanley Cup champions are the Toronto Maple Leafs over the National Predators in 6 games. Um, stats, of course, maybe we'll take it home. Art Ross goes to DeSalvatore. Oh, he took a few things home. We're going to go look and see what that is really quickly. And once again, nothing going home to Elias Pedersen. But who is that? Take oh, 109 points. He was drafted, oh, and technically next year's NHL draft, 19th overall. Putting up 109 points? Oh, he just exploded all of a sudden. Plus 46. I'm not even sure if he was supposed to do that. Well, we might see when you're number five, 15. It might not. I'm still not even sure if I'm going to upload this. Year 
Number 15, Elias Patterson is now 36 years old. 95 points, 81 games. He does crash to an 86 overall. One year left on a $10.2 million deal. Canucks, once again, don't make the playoffs. 33, 44, and 5. I was talking to Ravens on Discord. And if he does not win the cup in the next two seasons, I'm not uploading it. We're going to a different one. Maybe we saw your Stanley Cup champions over the Edmonton Oilers. And once again, nothing going home to Elias Patterson. Will he retire? Will we here for year number 16? Am I uploading this? Three big questions. Year number 16, Elias Patterson signs with the Winnipeg Jets. 37 years old, 85 overall. He signs a one-year $7.4 million deal. I am a little excited because finally, just as I was going to say, we are not going to, uh, I'm not going to upload this. Vegas Gold Knights are won the division and does not matter because he signed with Winnipeg. Winnipeg Jets did make the playoffs fourth in the central division, but you know what team better? They're also your Stanley Cup champions. Elias Patterson finally wins his first Stanley Cup in 16 years and the first time we have ever won a Stanley Cup in our career simulation. Game seven against the Detroit Red Wings, the Winnipeg Jets go all the way. So I don't have to look at the Golden Knights anymore. Jets are your Stanley Cup champions. Blackhawks hit the President's Trophy. And is anything going to Elias Patterson? Yeah, he does home, take home the Conn Smythe Trophy. So maybe maybe he'll even retire this year. Because wouldn't that be a way to end? Well, let's check it right now. If he doesn't retire, then he doesn't retire. And the Canucks would have got the Canucks sucked anyway. They did not make playoffs and they got the first overall pick, but it does not matter. Because Elias Patterson is a Stanley Cup champion. How awesome would it be if he retired right now? Get all done one clip. And he does not. So we will be back for another year, but he is a Stanley Cup champion. Finally have one. Now it's worth putting hit putting this into a video. So see you in year number 17 for Elias Patterson, the Stanley Cup champion, Elias Patterson. Year number 17, Elias Patterson is now 30 years old. 91 points in 82 games. Still putting up pretty good numbers, even though he's now an 83 overall. Did set a two-year, $7.4 million deal with the Winnipeg Jets. He knows I'm in a little bit better mood from the clip before this, the clip before the last one. And the only reason why is that, because Elias Patterson is still a Stanley Cup champion. Uh, the Winnipeg Jets did make the playoffs fourth in the league. Wasn't that their entire, wasn't that the exact same points they had last year, 44, 30, and 8? But they did not win the Stanley Cup. The Chicago Blackhawks did. The Jets were eliminated in round one to the LA Kings in five games. And the Blackhawks over the Buffalo Sabres in, uh, I think that said seven. I think it was seven. Predators are your President's Trophy winners. And nothing this time going to Elias Pedersen. And while we're here, let's just do it again. I think for, for, from now on for, for 16 and 17 and eight, year 18, because this is year 17. We'll just, let's just check if he retired. Uh, that doesn't matter. Even though I'm the Golden Knights. But that's all that matters really for me. <sighs> now what I get to do after this. Is I go get to spend about 45 minutes. Editing all of this together. Does he retire? He does. That's Patterson. 1,431 points in 1,486 games. I'll see you in the outro in a second. But eh, not a point per game, though, but it doesn't matter. He still won. He's still going to go into history books, and he still won a Stanley Cup. See you in the outro. Our third career simulation is over. Jack Eichel is number one. Second was Nathan McKinnon, and this one lies Patterson. 1,486 games played. He puts up 485 goals, 946 assists for 1,431 points. He has won the first Stanley Cup that we've ever done. He also got the Conn Smythe Trophy for that year also. Hope you guys enjoyed. Next one will be Kata Hot. And I'll see you guys in the next one. S-W-E-Y-A.